Hello, my name is Nicholas Bell. I'm the chief film critic with Ion Cinema. Uh, it's my uh, pleasure today to be able to speak with the esteemed Estonian director, Petar Sim, um, whose latest film, On the Water, has been selected, has, is Estonia's official selection uh, for best international feature at the 94th Academy Awards. Uh, so congratulations on that. Uh, the film you. you premiered about a year ago at uh, Tallinn Black Knights Film Festival in competition. And it's my understanding that even before that premiere, you've been attached to this project for quite some time. So if you could tell me how you first came involved with uh, the film, which is an adaptation of a novel by Olavi Rudlane, uh, who is also the screenwriter. Thomas, Ja romaani lugesin läbi pärast seda, kui ma olin oma nõusele pannud ja senaariumi läbi, läbi lugenud. This was the proposal of the producers and Peter read the novel through only after he had accepted the proposal. Ja ma olin väga üllatanud, et mitte on lapsed, vaid ka paljud täiskasvanud olis seda lugenud. And he was very surprised to see that many adults and children had read the novel earlier. Aga fiksi käivitamine võttis mitu aastat. Rohkem, kui me olime lootnud. It took uh, many more years than he expected to start the movie. Nii et me olime sõnnitud uh, välja vahetama peavasatäitja ja poiss, kes meil enne selle rolli peal oli nihkus antagonisti paharati vahel. And uh, they also had to change the main uh, character and uh, the boy who was uh, supposed to be initially the main character uh, moved on to the role of the antagonist. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I did read that you had to condense uh, the novel quite a bit. There's a lot. There's a lot of characters in the book, um, and a lot about fishing. Uh, and I was interested to read that you had to make an agreement with the producer to be uh, forbid. You didn't want them to forbid improvisations. No, kalastamisega oli see probleem, et esimene, mis ma produksentidele ja operaatorile ütlesin, et tänapäeva vaataja ei ole huvitatud nägemast kalu suremas. Uh, the first thing uh, that uh, he told was that uh, today's uh, viewer uh, doesn't want to see uh, fishes to die on screen. Ja seda on vähendatud kordades ja kordades kogu ilmis. And uh, there is considerably less of it than uh, it was initially planned. Aga sisuliselt oli vaja jätta see, et vee peal olek, kalal olek on poisijaks seisund, kus on vaba vägivallast, silmakirjalikusest, sellest ängist. And uh, the main point is that to be on water for the boy, it's a condition where uh, he's free of uh, hypocrisy and free of violence, free. Ja meie filmigruppis oli inimesi, kes ise väga mäletavad konkreetsed aastat, 1982. Uh, in our crew there, are, uh, there were many people who actually remember the year uh, 1982. Because Brezhnev died uh, in that year. Yeah, uh, tendency in the recent movies, uh, both in uh, our movies and in the foreign movies. Nii et uh, inimeste jaoks, kes seda aega hästi mäletavad, meenutavad need filmid rohkem Põhja-Koread või Hiinad. Selle pärast, et kõik kohad on täis need punaseid loosungeid ja uh, pilte ja me võtsime vastu otsuse, me ei näita mitte ühtegi. People who remember these years uh, remember uh, China or North Korea and remember the red flags and slogans, but we took a deliberate decision uh, to show nothing of it. Mis puutub ajastu näitamisse, siis pean kohe ütlema, et 99% tollastest elanikest elasid märksa paremini kui need inimesed selle tagauga. As far as the era is considered, I must say that 99% of the people lived actually better than those who you saw on the movie. Aga me oleme väga palju, sell, me oleme väga palju ringi sõitnud, mitte ainult neist kohtades, kus me filmisime. Mitte kunagi pole keegi meile öelnud, et me oleme olnud ajastu või ajasuhtes uh, ülekohtused või valet. Uh, we have traveled a lot uh, in the places where we uh, shot the movies, 
and no one has said yet uh, that uh, we're lying about uh, this period of time. Salavina müüjaid, varkaid ja kriminaale jätkus siis on ka praegu nii, et... There were bootleggers and thieves and criminals both today and uh, in that time. Right, yeah. Um, I found it interesting because your first film, uh, Idea Landscape, was banned by the Soviet Union. Uh, so I found it interesting you're making a film now that I think would be hard to have made had you done it in 1982 because of how authentic it seemed dealing with uh, sexuality and romance and how um, the, the tragic comic, the tragic comic quality of it is that there are people living their lives, but there's also a darkness underneath it. Um, do you think this film would have been hard to make in 1982? My first movie you know, was not actually a band. That's uh, too much to say. Some other movies were banned. Aga ide, ideal mastik räägi vajast neli aastat enne seda, kui mõne sündinud. Uh, ideal landscape is a movie about the time four years before I was born. Aga koos ema viimaga ma olin nagu kaasa saanud selle halvava, kõike läbistava hirmu tunde. Uh, but uh, I also experienced uh, the penetrating and uh, paralyzing fear of that time. Um, but I agree with you that it was a small miracle that I was allowed to make this ideal landscape movie. And the link between the two movies uh, is that uh, in both movies, the main character tries to remain human in the most extreme circumstances. Um, can we talk about your casting? Uh, you had mentioned that you had to change the characters. Uh, but Rasmus Ermel, who I think is, you have said that children are either very good or very bad. Uh, and I think you have some two very good uh, child performances. Um, so if you can talk about Andres, uh, his casting, and some of the supporting characters, because I know uh, Maria, Maria Klinskaya was in your film, Jorg. Um, and I know you're also familiar with Kalju Oro, the grandparents, before this film. Um, so yeah, if you can just comment about the casting process. Yeah, character is a very important thing. And it's very important that our first period was three big periods, and that's why it's been over 10 centimeters. I'm very happy for my main character. We had three main shooting periods, and during that time, the boy grew about 10 centimeters of height. Maria Klenska, aga ma olin ennegi filmi teinud, aga Orro oli mulle kui väga hästi tuttav, kui öelda sõber, aga ma kõik teda mitte kunagi filmi. I had uh, shot a movie with Maria Klenska before, uh, as far as Kalju Orro is concerned, I knew him very well, but I hadn't made a movie with him yet. Ja kui ma võin siin Orro osasse, siis jõudus suur ime minu praktikas. And there was a great miracle uh, related to Orro in my uh, practice so far. Selle pärast, et platsil ilmus näitleja, kellel oli kaasas oma rekvisi, mis oli õiges ajastus, joote kolmid, vanad raadiot, kõik juba ette valmistatud ja kaasa arvatud poisi peksmise vahendid. Uh, because um, for the first time uh, in my practice, um, character, uh, an actor appeared to the movie with uh, his own props, uh, including those uh, that were meant for beating the boy. Nice. Melting stuff and all that. Oh, everything. <laughs> nice. Um, it's a very beautiful looking film. And I know you shot it over seasons to catch yeah. the time period of a year. Um, but the production design is, is really fantastic. And um, I wanted to know, it has, a, it has a feel of kind of this era, kind of a Soviet, Soviet comedies that maybe a lot of people aren't familiar with. Uh, which I liked. And I know you said that Estonian films from this period kind of informed 
you, but were there any other, I'm curious about your other inspirations for the look and feel of the film. Maybe from the movies of Federico Fellini. Mm -hmm. He is my uh, favorite uh, movie director. I have studied in Moscow and I have uh, had a very conservative uh, classical movie education. Ma olen väga tänulik oma õpetajal Aleksandr Stolperil ja muusas tema filmist on see katkend, mis on must valge lenduvist. I am very grateful to my teacher, Aleksandr Stolper, and from his movie uh, there is this piece uh, which is in black and white about the pilot. Yeah. But, uh, was that from your, was that Arabella? I told you there is a piece in the TV set that's a movie of my teacher. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, pilot. With the wooden leg, yes. Black and white, yes, yes, yes. And that was a, a story about real men. That was a wartime film. Right. And, and you know, why? What's the problem? I don't know why I'm saying Fellini, that dramaturgically this lugu ei olnud üldse see, mida ma olen harjunud tegema. See oli lihtsalt sketchid ja rida, mida me näeme. The story wasn't absolutely that what I have made all my life. Mm. For me, that's very important that we have strong characters, heroes, we have conflict, we have collision, and we have uh, some catharsis in the end. Right. If, <clears throat> isn't it? But in that story, producers ask me not to move things because there is too many different characters, and they are so small and so thin. Mm -hmm. Like other characters, bigger characters. I'm sorry when my Actor is dying in the first 10 minutes, as it happens with a kind of with a wooden leg guy. Yeah. But, uh, but producers ask, let's have next time we do with characters you like, but let's save the characters what we have in a book because people like that. And that's why I think maybe Fellini have also small characters that are only for a minute or two, but you remember them because our characters are very grotesque. <laughs> maybe a bit over because ma ei keelanud näitlejatel kunagi välja pakkumast midagi ja, ja, ja minu peamine üles on, et nad tunneksid ennast vabad, tunneksid ennast filmi autoritele. My main task was that the actors should feel free and should also feel like the authors of the movie. Um, it, I did think of uh, Fellini's Amarcord watching this with uh... <laughs> The, the kind of comedy of some of the, the sad comedy of some of the uh, supporting players. But I also thought of uh, Claude Berry's movie, The Two of Us, um, with the relationship of uh, between Andres and Walter, uh, them, him kind of needing to find this stability. Um, I, I also wanted to ask was, I really liked the Soviet version of ABBA's SOS. Uh, was that always the song you were gonna use? Our producers and the ABBA producers uh, agreed that we should uh, not be allowed to use the original ABBA version, but we are allowed to use uh, that version that you heard, and I think it fits ideally. Yeah, I think it fits very well. I liked it a lot. Um, I, after watching it, I also read that you would approach this as, as a road movie, like filming a road movie. For as it, There's a fixed point, but from start to finish, there's a journey. And I think that's also fitting and comes across. If it's a road movie, then also uh, time has a significant part to play because uh, time also changes uh, the character. 
uh, not only the contacts that he has. Right, and I think that uh, fits very well. And I love the final shot where he's kind of walking into the Soviet thaw on the ice, if you will, um, is how I had looked at it. But um, I thought that was a, a very fitting ending and very hopeful for a lot of the kind of trouble that comes before. Uh, but not to go on and on, but uh, I enjoyed your film immensely. I'm happy to see that it's received this distinction. And uh, I'm also happy to hear that you're already working on another project because it's this film is eight years after your last film. So it's nice to see that uh, we'll probably see something else from you in the near future. I hope too. Ma tahaksin öelda nõukogud ajakohta, mitte ainult välismaalastel, vaid ka praegu seda noorte hulgas on meil levinud natuke valeva aru saamine. See ei ole midagi kompaktselt ja homogeenselt. Today, uh, the youth has a very different and uh, maybe a bit uh, false understanding of the Soviet time. It's not something uh, that you can uh, treat as a whole, nothing uh, homogeneous. Oli kohutav, eks ole, et terror jaeg oli Stalin jaeg. There was a time of terror during Stalin. Oli 60. aastate sula, kui tõusis suur nõukogude kino ja kirjandus. There was, the, musica. there was the missing time of 1960s where the Soviet literature and uh, cinema uh, were rising. Ja alates 70. aastates hakkab niisugune hägustunud akvaariumi. Hägustunud akvaariumi. And uh, since 1970s, uh, a diluted aquarium era begins. <laughs> I, I liked that it you know, it's from and Andres's perspective in that he's kind of oblivious to the political landscape per se, but I like that uh, there's a scene with the grandparents talking about Brezhnev on his way out and kind of the like the fear of somebody new isn't better, exactly. Um, I and I think that uh, also comes across um, quite well. Uh, but other than that, uh, are, do you have any other statements uh, you'd like to make about the film? Ma tahaksin edastada selle, mis minu õpeta Aleksander Stolper ütles, et see on väga uvitav, väga vastuoluline, aga tõene, mida ma olen nüüd kogenud. I would like to say uh, something that my teacher Aleksander Stolper uh, uh, has said, that it is... Uh, very controversial, but very true what I have experienced. Ta ütles, et kui film on onnestunud, siis on selle kaasaudalised ja kaasaudalised kõik inimesed, kes selle tiitrites on pluss veel mõned. He said that if a movie is a success, uh, then everyone who has participated and who is in the titles uh, has its part in it. Aga kui ta on unsu keeratud, siis selle on alt üks süüdlane, see oled sina regisseur. But if the movie is a failure, there is just one culprit, and it's you, the director. Well, it, this is hardly a failure. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Uh, but I, I do agree with that sentiment uh, as well. And I, I did want to bring up that uh, you did, you graduated from the VGIK, the Moscow Institute of Cinematography, in this, yes. uh, with, you know, along with a, a number of very prestigious people. Um, and uh, it's interesting to see how that formality is in your approach, I think, as well. Um, but uh, I think it, the film is a pleasure to watch. Uh, I think it's interesting to go back to this period without it being defined by the sense of terror uh, and from that of, of a child coming to experience his coming of age, but uh, but thank you for your film and thank you for taking the time to talk with me today. I really appreciate it, uh, and I'm definitely looking forward to what you have next. Thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for your words. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.